Have you ever seen anything like this? Welcome back to Garden Clinic TV. This is quite amazing. Yeah, it's an old shipping container designed by Ian Barker. Ian's won international reputation with gardens at the Chelsea Flower Show and won a lot of medals here over the years at the Melbourne International Flower and Garden Show. The judges only decided to give this garden a silver medal. I'm going to tell you why in a little moment. But I do want to show you and tell you about some of my favourite flowers on this particular garden. The judges felt that there were too many flowers. Too many, can you believe it? I don't think at this show this year, and they're all a bit different, I don't think there's enough flowers. I'm actually going to show you another garden by Phil Withers. It's jam-packed full of colour. It's so colourful you wouldn't believe it. But I think some of the gardens are lacking a little bit of colour. But this one is beautiful. It's overloaded with fabulous perennials. Some you'll remember, some you may not have heard of before. Let's have a look at a couple of them. Most of you have heard about the coneflower or echinacea. There are beautiful varieties of them right through the garden here now. It was actually used by the American Indians for all sorts of health reasons. And it still has those health properties. Echinacea, yeah, you'll see them in little bottles that you can buy at the local health store. But it is a fabulous plant and Ian's got lovely clumps of it right through this garden. Fabulous echinacea. Over on the other side here, sedum. It's been around too. It's a well-known plant. Autumn Joy is the variety. Remember with sedum, at the end of the season when it starts to look a bit ratty, generally through winter and the end of winter, cut it right down to the ground and then it'll start to uh, burst back into growth again. If you like, you can actually divide it at that stage and spread it around the garden. You get a whole lot of freebies. There's a plant just up near the, the wheel up there, the old rusty wheel, called agastache. Now, it's a relatively new plant in the home garden catalogue. Lots of different colours. Again, there's about half a dozen different colours of agastache. We've got this at home. A lot of people grow it as a sort of a perennial. But in fact, ours is about four or five years old. Again, when it starts to look a bit ratty at the end of the season, cut it down, feed it up with some complete fertiliser. The seaweeds are great, but you need to add a bit of complete fertiliser to the whole program to get agastache looking good again. This garden, I think, is a gold garden. I think maybe the judges got it wrong. What do you think?